Hello guys, welcome to Infosec Train. I am Sonika. Today we are here to discuss the questions that are frequently asked in the SOC interview. But first, we will discuss about what exactly the SOC is. So the primary duty of the SOC is to protect the organizations against cyber attacks. SOC team fulfills a number of responsibilities to effectively manage security incidents on an ongoing basis. So let's understand more clearly about SOC. Security Operations Center, commonly referred to as SOC, is a team of professionals who safeguard organizations from the online risk. They analyze security measures and implement cybersecurity strategies to protect data from hackers and malicious attacks. Let's take a closer look at what they do. SOC is a 24-hour control center in charge of security and threat analysis for an organization. It is essentially a structure for organizations to look in strictly to protect their cyber assets. Nowadays, organizations are making significant investments in technologies and security solutions because SOC analysts will need to keep an eye on all the different tools and platforms that are used for cyber security. So the question is, why does a company require a SOC team? SOC is a command center facility for a team of IT professionals with expertise in information security who monitors and protects an organization from cyber attacks. So let's understand more closely about the SOC team. A SOC integrates crucial security procedures to ensure that your business is always protected and ready to respond to threats. So this is the reason why a company needs an SOC team. The SOC team activities involve constant monitoring, cyber attacks detention, prevention, investigation, and response. Having a SOC team has the following advantages. So the first advantage is they regularly monitor and assess system actions. They continuously monitor and look into security incidents. They help companies to respond quickly to security events and outside threats. They give security operations more transparency and control and they take a proactive approach rather than reactive. Hello guys, welcome to Infosec Train. I am Sonika and today we are going to discuss some questions that are asked in an interview for SOC. What is the structure of the SOC team? SOC team should be based on monitoring platform that tracks and records security events effectively. SOC team combines intelligence services to help the organization to respond to risk quickly. So let's move ahead to the framework. There are four key players in the well-run SOC team. SOC analysts are organized in four tiers that is L1 security analyst, L2, L3 and manager. L1 security analyst. The main responsibility of the L1 security analyst is to monitoring and analysis of cybersecurity events. L2 Security Analyst The main task of the L2 Security Analyst is to confirm conclusions, understanding of malware, security event triage, intrusion analysis, information security alerting, threat trends, and abnormal behavior. L3 Security Analyst L3 Security Analyst is also known as SOC Lead. An employee of the L3 SOC team receives problems that have been escalated from the L2 level, manages the most difficult discoveries, and works to correct the incident that are discovered. SOC Manager The security operations team is led by a SOC manager, who answers to the chief information security officer. They direct the group, offer technical directions, and coordinate activities in the following ways oversees the hiring, assessing, and training of SOC staff. What is data leakage? Data leakage is when the information is exposed to unauthorized people due to internal errors. This is often caused by many reasons such as poor data security, outdated systems, and lack of employee training. So let's discuss more about data leakage and the factors that are responsible for data leakage. Data leakage is the unauthorized transfer of information from an organization to an outside source via hard disk, USB storage devices, mobile phones, and other devices. This data may be physically or electronically leaked. Data leakage refers to the exposure or transmission of an organization's sensitive data 
to the external recipient the data may be transmitted or exposed via the internet or by physical means the following factors are responsible for data leakage disappointed employees insecure backup storage system breach by a hacker systems not properly configured and inappropriate security and control measures what is the three way handshake three way handshake is also known as tcp tcp uses a three way handshake to establish a reliable connection the principal reason for the three way handshake is to prevent old duplicate connection from confusions now let's understand more about three way handshake tcp traffic begins with a three way handshake In this TCP handshake process, a client needs to initiate the conversation by requesting a communication session with the server. Three-way handshake is a mechanism to establish a connection between the client and the server over a transmission control protocol or internet protocol network. In this mechanism, the client and the server send each other the synchronization and acknowledgement packets before an actual data transmission occurs list the steps to develop the data loss prevention strategy today organizations are faced with the challenge of selecting the best security solutions so the core function of dlp strategy is to prevent sensitive data to unauthorized parties now let's move ahead to the strategies throughout the data life cycle data travels through distinct phases an ideal dlp plan will ensure security in all such phases below listed are the steps and how they are protected by dlp strategy so the steps is first step is prioritizing the critical data sets categorizing the data based on its source analyzing which data is more prone to the risk monitor the transmission of the data and the last step is developing control measures to mitigate the data leakage risk